This is the Zed Code Editor. For a long time, Zed has had a built-in AI agent that you can use with the model of your choice by selecting the model from this dropdown. Now, you can also use the agent of your choice by selecting external agents from the plus menu. So let me demonstrate this using the Gemini CLI from Google, which is open source just like Zed is. I'm going to select new Gemini CLI thread. And since I don't have Gemini installed, I'm going to use this install Gemini CLI button to install it from NPM. Great. Now I'm going to use my external agent, in this case, Gemini CLI, to summarize the repo. So tell me what the website in this repo is about. Now this prompt I just wrote is getting sent off to Gemini CLI, which is running in a separate process. You might notice that there's no longer a model selector down here. This is because it is entirely up to the Gemini CLI process, which is to say the agent, what model or models it wants to use. You can also see that it's able to do tool calls. We saw a couple of different file reads going on over here. It's telling us about its thought process as it goes. At the end of the day, you can basically do all the same things that you do in Zed's built-in agent with one of these external ones. How does all of this work? Well, you can see quite helpfully here, this repository's website documents the agent client protocol or ACP. It's a standard for communication between code editors and AI coding agents, such as Gemini CLI allows any ACP compatible agent to work with any ACP compatible editor, much like the LSP. Couldn't have said it better myself. The way we see it at Zed, if you've got an agent that you're already happy with, you should be able to use that agent inside Zed. So let's take a look at a little bit more detail on how ACP works under the hood by opening up the ACP logs panel. And now I'm gonna run another prompt through Gemini CLI. And we're gonna see from the logs exactly what's going on as Zed communicates with the Gemini CLI process. So I'm just gonna ask it, please install a spell checker. Now this prompt right here that I just sent is getting sent off from Zed to the Gemini CLI process. We're using JSON RPC to communicate back and forth, just like language server protocol and MCP. And you can see that we're sort of streaming back these uh, agent thoughts, this agent thought chunk, that's examining spell checker, analyzing dependencies, so on and so forth. Now here the agent has requested to run a terminal command, in this case, list files in the current directory, Anytime it wants to run a terminal command, that's something that we will block and ask for permission for. So here I can say always, always allow this particular command or just allow it this once. I'm going to say always allow, ls is pretty safe. And now you can see that Zed sent back to the Gemini CLI process, hey, it's okay for you to run this command. I'm also always going to allow npm install. So this is going to install the actual spell checker. Now it's installed. And the final thing it's going to do is it's going to create a cspell.json file to configure our brand new spell checker. Here we can see an inline diff of the file that it's creating. This would be true whether it's creating a new file or doing edits just like it is in Zed's normal agent. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, you can go ahead and always allow edits there too. We can also see a summary of all the edits that it's making here as we go along. So now it's editing package.json to add cspell dot. I can go ahead and like review, reject, or keep any of these things. I can reject all, I can keep all. All this stuff is right here at my fingertips. And I can even see this unified diff of all the changes that it's made. So this is this new file. And then also just the one little quick change right there. And now it's actually running the spell checker and finding all sorts of errors to fix. And of course, as it's making all these things, I'm seeing everything in real time updating in Zed. Now, Gemini CLI is only the first integration that we've added. We collaborated with the engineers at Google on developing ACP to make sure that we would have a good protocol that makes sense for the editor and also makes sense for the agents. ACP is an open standard, so if you'd like to contribute to it and you're working on an agent or you're working on an editor, check out agentclientprotocol.com for more information. In the meantime, enjoy the freedom.